they slept, that is when the enemy came and he planted what? The weeds. Hallelujah. So when you see people fluctuating in serving God in ministry, it is because weeds, magugu imefanini, imepandwa. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, wake up. Be rooted in Christ. And be built in Christ. The way, the time you come to church, how often do you serve God? Are you faithful to God? All these things will show us your roots in Christ. Hallelujah. That's why Jesus says you will know them by the kind of fruits you see. Hallelujah. Because when the fruits fail to give enough resources, enough, enough nutrition to plant, what will happen? That plant will not yield, will not give forth fruits. Hallelujah. Because there is no, there is insufficiency of provision to the fruit. Hallelujah. So that is what we do here. When we come here, we teach the word, we teach Christ to the depth of, uh, of, of to, 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 to the depth of it. The Bible says that who has wisdom that he may instruct God. Who has in, in wisdom that he may instruct God. And then he finishes the same sentence by saying, but we have the mind of Christ. And then I say, so for us we can instruct Christ. So with the Bible, when the Bible says who uh, is wise to instruct Christ, it means it does not mean to teach Christ. It means to explain Christ. Hallelujah. So if you have the mind of God, you will explain Christ as John has, the, has just done it, regardless of the age. Hallelujah. Regardless of the age. How, how, nobody will just come to rip out of your ignorance. People, There are people outside there, people are ripping out from their ignorance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ukikuja tu kifakio kina kutosha. Kufakia tu. Na unaenda kumbe mtu anajua ni mpumbavu kiasi hata uwezi fakia nyumba. So anakuambia enda fakia tu nyumba. Hiyo uchavu kitoka, uchavu imetoka. Na kweni kitoka. Unaona hata usafi mepatikana, hakuna inzi kwa nyumba. Sasa kuna afya mzuri, hakuna mtota kwa na kwa shoko. Kwa ujinga yako. It's all that you are not praying. Some people perish for lack of knowledge. Hallelujah. So the church ought to be grounded in the word. Hallelujah. We don't, we, we, don't, we don't fight Satan by prayer. We, fa we fight Satan by knowledge. Because it is Satan. You can pray, pray, and pray, and pray. But if you have no knowledge of Christ, you will still perish for lack of knowledge. That's why the Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. After what when you are praying, they are praying. After bad prophets, when you are praying, they prayed when Yomba. Hallelujah. Imagine they are worshipping wrong gods, but they are still praying. So your prayer shall connect you to the deity if indeed you have the knowledge of the deity himself, and then you know how to relate with him, and you have also received the, 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 the character of that deity. So your prayer is in the character of God. One is us first. So we got to be uh, rooted in Christ, and also to be built up in Christ. So how do we build people in Christ? Through the right teaching. Through the right teaching. So don't be a, a child at the age of 40. Don't, in fact, don't keep on reminding us how old you are. It is of no meaning. Hallelujah. Have you ever met people who say, I was born uh, 40 years ago. So what are you telling me, Mokoka, two, two years ago? Salvation is not about how long. Hallelujah. It is about how deep. Somebody, did you get this? Yes. It's not about how long. It is about how deep. Because the depth of you in Christ will reveal the longevity in Christ. Bonesos Fraser. So people are in Christ. When you see in church, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of issues. When you see in church, there's a lot of confusion. When you see in church, there's conflicts. Uh, in, 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 even in, in learning, we uh, pass something different. Is because one of them is either wrong or two are wrong. Because if we were all right, we would speak one thing. Just as Jonas shared the word, and uh, we agree with it. Exactly as it was brought, hundred percent, because we're in Christ. Hallelujah. Praise King Jesus. So we got to be rooted. 
we got to be uh, grounded in Christ. Is somebody here in Christ? Hallelujah. And to be in Christ is not for you to come here and we tell you, Sema Bwana Yesu, Naja Mbele Zako, Uneza Kuja Mbele na Badai Utoki. Hallelujah. Uneza Kuja Mbele na Badai Ufanini? Utoki. It is about you receiving Christ in totality. Totality. Somebody say totality. Totality. Uh, so when, when, whenever you, 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 you are in Christ Jesus, when you read 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5, and I say, how we are fighting this knowledge, uh, the knowledge of, because the enemy has brought the knowledge. And the knowledge, can we just go there uh, uh, first? Second uh, Corinthians chapter ten, verse five. Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse five. Those are just uh, some of the pictures uh, where we came from. I think Zipo two at the right time. For, uh, Second Corinthians, maybe this one alone. Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse five. Hallelujah.
Jesus was not in hurry for ministry. Anybody who is in hurry for ministry, it is your mind and your selfish ambitions. Hallelujah. When you have selfish ambitions, even when your father tells you, God's not clear, you say, Abana. And that is, it happened with the prodigal son. Do you know that? Do you know a prodigal son? Just some more time. And then he said, No. Praise the Lord. So, when you are rooted in Christ, what Christ saith shall be your one. You will not go with them. Because there are people who decide to go by themselves and then when they go, they start meeting things they should have met before going so that they can be prepared to handle them when they meet. But now it was too late. Hallelujah. Who cast you? In me there is no cast. I don't cast people. Neither do you cast. Are you born again? Do you cast people? If you are in Christ, there is no cast that came from Christ. God never cast. Christ never cast. Hallelujah. So when you are going through hardships, don't say Pastor Jimmy cast me. Don't say Pastor Tai cast me. Hallelujah. When Jesus first time. People face what they face because of five things. Ignorance. Hallelujah. Do you know ignorance? Ignorance, you have decided. God tells you he is big. I want to be a God you don't know. He is a wheelbarrow ref. When you know what to do, they are in church. But even when pastor tells them, this is a Bible, they will say, no, this is a black book. Pastor, this is a black book. Why? Pastor, you are wrong. And then I'm going to say, why am I going to be? Because my prophet, I have a prophet somewhere in Mombasa. He told me this is a black book. Hallelujah. And so as we celebrate this, because maybe I won't have time to speak again. So as I conclude, just to reaffirm the message, I also uh, remember that we are in anniversary. Hallelujah. So as we continue to celebrate the goodness of God, let us make sure that whoever the Mishirika were Christo, what did I say? Make sure that you are a member of the body of Christ. That's why when he read from the book of Ephesians chapter 4, he said that until we all come to the full measure of faith, hallelujah, though I saw my panel belly, but verse 11 pale, you will find it. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. Until uh, those who were appointed, they were appointed for one reason. Hallelujah. Let's go there. Because this is to be rooted in Christ Jesus. And he gave some to be, can we read all of us three stars? Use your screen. And he gave some apostles, and some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors, and teachers. For what purpose? Next verse. A bit faster. For the perfecting. So for the rooting and building of the saints. Hallelujah. You are not a pastor to kill people in church. Hallelujah. You are not a prophet to kill people in church. You are not a apostle to kill people in church. Go back to that of verse 11. Hallelujah. Not apostle, not prophet, not evangelist, not pastor or teacher to kill, but to perfect. For the perfecting of the saints. Hallelujah. So any position you hold in church, and the role you play in church, it must be to perfect what? If it's not to perfect, it's not the role of God. Let's go back there. For the work of the ministry. What are we celebrating? Seven years of ministry. Hallelujah. And in these seven years of ministry, I have a lot to testify. I have a lot to say about betrayals. I have a lot to say about fixations. And I have a lot to say about the faithful servants. Hallelujah. Amen. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for edifying of the body of Christ. What is the word edifying? Building. Hallelujah. Now it takes you to the topic. Being rooted and being built in Christ. For the building of the body of Christ. So tell somebody, if you are not building me, 
you are bringing me down. Amen. Hallelujah. If you tell somebody, if you are not building me up, I cannot say, if you are not building me, Hallelujah. You are bringing me down. It just happened, Pastor. I'm going to go back to my mama. Every Monday, it will make sense. I'm going to sit with my child because I'm going to chill out. So you are not building me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you are not building me, oh, tell somebody, please. You are destroying me. Hallelujah. Let us be the builders. Now, listen to this. When we talk about this, it means that even the, the role of prophets changed. The work, the work of prophets in Old Testament was to prophesy towards Christ. Follow me, hallelujah. Was to show us Christ to come. That's why the prophets pointed towards Christ to come, the future. And the apostles pointed back to Christ who came. Are we together? So now, in New Testament, we also have prophets because people don't know that we also have prophets. But now the work of the prophets in the New Testament is not to prophesy the food you ate or the things that to come. But it is to perfect the church to edify. If you are sleeping, say amen. Now wake up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, now wake up after saying amen. Hallelujah. So can we continue? The next verse till we all come do you, do you know why I said it there because our teacher started from this one eh? now you, you can see there is perfection somewhere now after that perfection till we all come in the unity of faith so we need to be in the unity of faith mambo tuko kanza moja mwingina anatumia chumvi mwingina anatumia kifagio mwingina anahenda kununua sijui vitambana tuko church moja akini kujua na kumiorosha because na, na kuchapa tu ni sasa ukwe. Because you, can, you cannot sit at such a teachings. If John can teach such a things, for, and, and, and somebody is here, hallelujah, who go to a hapa, na chumafuta, waka chupa, but then I went kuwa chupa na romba katifa kuwa mafuta na niyako, ni kunyorosha. Next time, mukinipa, mukiskeyo Douglas, muleta na kibogo, mutawana. Hallelujah. Mutaona, nita kunyorosha na asira ya Yesu. Ya upendo. We, ini, nita kudanganya kama nganda. Atatua pepo. Atatua pepo wa kuchapa watu. Chukua virago papu. Chukua, unachukua virago gani? Sasa kama ye muhendo kirago, kilisha kuchukuliwa. Sasa suna mwambia chukua ye muhende babu. Hanewe. Until we all come to the unity of faith. So the problem in church, the problems you are seeing in churches today is because we have never come to the unity of faith. We have never. Hallelujah. When we come to the unity of faith, when we come to the unity of faith, titles will mean nothing. Somebody will say, I just want to sit and learn. I just want to be taken somewhere. Hallelujah. Because now I've realized it's not about a title. It is about perfection in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Till we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. The knowledge about the Son of God cannot come unless they are teaching. And Jesus says, and through Paul in the book of Romans chapter 10, he says that how will they believe unless somebody preaches unto them? And how will they and how will he preach to them unless he's sent? Hallelujah. So you find that there's a pastor who has been sent to edify the church, but the church is not ready to receive him. The church has chosen the worldish pastors. When you are taken among the Sijana, Sulkulo Mena, good. Sultumena Nabil, you can't go up. Good. If I be the prophet of God, Sultumia. Kitungu moja, yes. Another change of feelings, emotions. We don't serve God by emotions. Hallelujah. Yani mtu, kimutu kilisome upishi. Kinajua labda ratio ni nyanyambili na kitungu moja. Na kuko likely uluweka hizo. 
And then when the church made sale because kanisa inataka uchawi kuonwa. Hallelujah. Inabaki pale when you come here you don't see any benefit from me. You don't. Because you thought you will come and then tuzunguka na wake dogo and uko. Yeah, and then because you missed it, you said there's no God here. Now look for where there is God and then I will remain with God here. Hallelujah. What matters is just remaining with God. I tell you somebody, tell your neighbor. After that, you can't get a kid. You can't get a kid. You can't get a kid. Hallelujah. Yes, Christ in me is the hope of glory. And if he's the hope of glory, he will be the hope of glory at any given time. Hallelujah. So the church to be rooted in Christ is not just speaking being rooted. It is bringing the process of rooting in effect. Hallelujah. So that we don't just say because not how you walk. Oh, hallelujah. Mm. It's not about that. Hallelujah. It's not about that. It is about the person of Christ in you. And that's why I was saying that how do we know that the goal is purified? The people who do the purification process of the God, as he said, they take the God into fire when it is still at the crude stage. And then when you take it to the fire, the, the heat, the temperatures are so high to an extent that all the impurities cannot survive the temperature. And so when the impurities are done with, it remains the gold alone. But still the purifiers will know that the gold is pure when it begins to glitter, to shine. And when it begins to shine, the purifier will see himself through the reflections of the gold. So unless Christ is seeing himself in you, you are not rooted. What did I say? Unless Christ can see himself in you. So when Christ looks at you, Collins, he has to see himself in you. You are rooted. But when he looks at you, and then he sees Tobias, you still have to go through the process. Hallelujah. So So Hallelujah. We thank God we, we, we are almost the same. Almost alike. Hallelujah. So that's another question. Last minute, yes, hallelujah. So, mimi ninafika kufana na yeye lakini yeye anafight upa ndaka na sukuma na pia mimi na sukuma na sukuma but now because Jesus is not a dictator niki sukuma na yeye hallelujah niki sukuma anadhao sawa msume nikata wacha mimi eh kwa sababu ni msukuma na wa ilusi he lost he lost the battle that's why he says behold i'm standing at the door and i'm knocking Whoever shall open. So it's about you, me, you to allow him inside. You don't allow him, he will go. Unamskuma, uwana menda iti. Na kenda ukaya zema, sawa. I still have my residence to sit. And what is that residence? Pastor Augustine, Pastor David, they are still residents. I can't stay in them if you refuse to be. So we got to be rooted and to be built in Christ. Hallelujah. When the church is built in Christ, must engage a risk, go. Because we are in one faith. When I look at Elizabeth, I've looked at myself. I've looked on Christ. Hallelujah. Praise King Jesus. Who shall receive it? It is a mystery. Cut to cut to. It is a mystery. He ended the prayer Wi-Fi. So we thank God because when we are rooted in Christ, tell somebody be rooted in Christ. If a youth can share this message as this one. Let us also be another level. And be able to talk to one more again. To one more Hallelujah. To one more. And be able to talk to one more again. To one more again. God is not worshipped on Sunday alone. God is worshipped. I was surprised here on Friday. Wakeni walikuwa wengi kuliko. Ata wachungaji walikuwa wengi kuliko. Wachungaji wenyeji. Ata, yani it was just like that. 
Kulikuwa na mke wetu mchungaji hapa kweli. Eh, Pastor Rosa alikuwa. Na Pastor Moreno alikuwa Pastor wetu. Hallelujah. Church. This is a message for you. If you want to be rooted in Christ, be a man of the word, be a woman of word, be a man of prayer, be a woman of prayer. What is this first one? Please. God will not negotiate about you to come and worship him. Because you worshiping God, you are not making God to be special. You are worshiping God for your own good. In fact, God is not a beneficiary of our worship. I told you this and, and there's a time I told it. God does not benefit our worship. It is us who benefit worshiping God. So you worship him and you become a beneficiary of that worship. He does not because uh, 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 Psalms 110 says God is God all by himself. He doesn't need angels for him to be God. He doesn't need you for him to be God. You reject him, you accept him, he is still God. Hallelujah. He is still God. You place him, you don't place him, he is still God. He was God when you were not there. He was God when I was not there. He was God when we were not there. And he will remain God even when we are old. He will remain God even when we are gone. Another generation will come and will preach him. Hallelujah. But for me and you, we can only be remembered by what we are doing. Some of these videos we are taking worship as what you minister about, you will be remembered by this because internet does not forget. It will be there even a thousand years. There are people who will listen to what I talked through the video and I will be more famous than Paul because Paul, it was recorded in a book. This one is recorded every word and video on how my size was. So they can even look at my picture and say, this is how Chunge was. Hallelujah. And when they go back to the scripture and they see my video and they see what Paul wrote, now they understand Paul the more and now they can guess Chunge was like Pastor Tai. No, so the Pastor Tai was like Paul in size. Hallelujah. So whatever you are doing, you will be remembered by it. Whether it is good or it is bad. So let us be rooted in Christ. So I'm going to do whatever that. Hallelujah. Tell somebody what you eat, you become. You become what you eat. Hey, 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 Jerry Jeributu, if you want to become what you eat, why Jeributu? And the Kulambosho. Smart to a doctor who can get a doctor to be able to pull and wash up and lizard a pull up to rave a fifth to pull up to run after a joke and then tell me what you'll become. Tell me what you'll become. I will put a thing in the hammer somewhere. I love one get a sort of so that. Inaitua Sprite na Stony Na ukai kidogo kunyo maziwa See what you become So what you eat Determines who you are Hallelujah. That's why here we eat things So that we can ground people We can have people rooted And built in In Christ One is a special. That is so good That is so good That is so awesome If you are built in Christ Till we all come so why is it that till we all come in the unity of faith? Now, are you seeing why Jesus is delaying to come? We are not in the unity. Yes. Yani leo hi likimama tu. Likimama li zetu. Na li jimuze li zetu. Li jitu tu. Na miraba mene. Hata si mbili. Miraba mene. Tinatoka tu hapa mpaka Mombasa kumbua mafuta. Na ikuwa pari supermarket. Na tinakuja tinajipaka at mapepo itoke. Asifu hilo ni jimse ni chapati. Eh? And we are in church. We shall never reach that unity of Christ until we know the truth. Hallelujah. Until we know the truth. Yesu wakata alifanya mujiza wakakula samaki. Wakakula ni samaki na mkate. What does the Bible say? When well, other suggestion happen, now we have found the king. We, we were looking for the king. And they have the king. Which king? Caesar. They said, ah, we have found the king. This is our king. This is our king. 
Father. Hallelujah. So he will source you with life, with the right teachings, with everything because now that source is your building. He will build you. That's why uh, uh, Peter says, and we being spiritual stones, we are being built into spiritual house. Hallelujah. The house of Christ. Hallelujah. So, let us serve God tirelessly. Let us serve God owing to the fact that it has to be Christ. If you are in Christ, you are dead. You are dead. Why is that so? Like any kuna watu akona na Christ, like any anako yumba vila nangalia. Eh, akona mafuta ya mboga. Ile kile ni mali. And we will know last week. Last week lady. A Tuesday, hmm? Tuesday. Na kona kadam. So uh, one liter, and I find yourself one liter to to make cool up a to make cool to make cool up a spoon. Thursday to make cool a ugali. Like na kumuka ni kuwa na maziwa man. So I took to make my food. Top. Sasa zinobak zingapi sita. Kwezi kusita. Kuna siku tunakula ugali na manangu. Na nenuwe manangu miambiri na tukakulia kesha lake. So, atuku tukia nini. Mwaka, sana shangiri kapa. Hizo tukumba kusima yana? Ta? Tatu. Because tunikula ikabaki. Na tana anakuambia, nataka likuwe shua tunikula manangu ya mia. Hile ilipaki ya mia ya kesha. Yani paka mama anashigwa. Yani kumefika wakati wazao kanisani, lakini wanatamena mkuu ya kuku, wakati amenunua unga naenda na eka mkuu ya kuku wa unga, na anatoa naenda na ayo. So mama kijaribu kupika. Napata hakuna mkuu wa unga. Muzaki ikiwa nafikiria na, but mama, mama, mama ipo, nikulete mpaka ipo, nikulete maji, ya kuyo, nitaenda mwenye. Haende kujota, haenda kufungua unga wakaria. Mungu ya kukwingani hiko. Na wacha ni kuambie, the more you are stingy, ata kata kwa mungu, ukiwa stingy kwa mungu, God will find a way ya kupeza kutumika. Are you aware? Kata kutuwa sedaka, kata kufanya hiyo mambo yote, kata taitu, wacha kufanya hiyo, kuna njia, mungu anasema, nitatoboa mifuko yenu. Arebe, nae hata mama, ana kuangalia hoa, ni mungu ya kuku. Because, the more tangalia yo drawing, ata kukunja kwa mungu ya kuku. Zinazo tufaji kubwa. Ata angalia mku. Ata kujua ni ya left. Hii kitu yiko left. Tami yiko right. Ata kweke. Hale. Wanisa sufesa. When you are not in Christ. You will be too economical. To an extent that you cannot receive a visitor in the house. Hale. So ata kama mama alitabela na rafiki. Ata kama mama aliona menzake andelana nja. Na haka mpea kitu kidogo. You don't care. Uli bea kama nini? Muli kunyo yecha ya saa kumi. Bwana sa sifasa. There is a sermon that happened at one time. And one bishop was the guest speaker and then he came there were he did what he said na wachungaji na wakeza wachungaji. All of them. And then that visiting bishop walikuwa ametoka inja ya inji haka uliza, if you are here, pastor's wife na ujawai gongwa na bayana mzee kutaka ubaki umeka kama umai gongwa na mzee ambaye ni pastor ambaye ni bishop na boso kutaka usmani wake za mabishops na bosos, nini watu wakasimamu ika baki tune muke wa bishop wa hapo peke yake ndo alika Paka uyo bishop wakati nga, eh, mabishop, muna piga wake hiki, mabastas. Hii mayogozuna tu kwa ndoa. Kasama sawa. Kwa sabi mama bishop na mbaki ya meka, na hindi ya metu hosti ya. Acha tumulize, ni nini ulifanya? Ikafanya mzaja wae kukuza, uyo skofi tunawana hapa. Mama kasama mimi, ni megongwa jana, ni mdikile ni mzimaa, ni mejindo kusumama. Labra munishikilie Kwa sababu ile kichapo ni mepata jana Siwezi simama Ile kichapo ni mepata jana Siwezi vani 
So it turned out that even the hosting bishop was the worst. That is not to be rooted in Christ. Hallelujah. When you are rooted in Christ, you are not violent. When you are rooted in Christ, auna masegenyo. When you are rooted in Christ, auna chuki. When you are rooted in Christ, auna vikawanyiko. Hallelujah. When you are rooted in Christ, auna mapendeleo. Praise King Jesus. Hallelujah. Kuna watu waliokoka, wanasema I'm rooted in Christ, lakini wanasema mimi mwanamke hawezi ongea mbele yangu. Huyu huyu jamaa hili jize si ndugu ya Musa huyu. Huyu si ndugu ya Musa. Mwanamke hawezi ongea mbele yangu. Sio ni sheria ya Musa anasema hivi. Sio ni sheria ya Musa. Sheria ya Musa ndio itambui mwanamke na mtoto. Hiyo hiyo inatambua hawa watu wawili. Ndio sababu kwa sheria ya Musa mwanamke na mtoto walikuwa wanapatikana tu kwa outer court of the temple. Hawangi pita hapo. Lakini leo hii unasema I'm rooted in Christ. I'm built in Christ lakini mwanamke hawezi ongea mbele yangu. Siwezi kuwa kweli nilizaliwa. Nilizaliwa siwezi kuwa mrembo. Siwezi kuwa kweli ni mimi Danka. Lakini kama ni ni huyo Danka aliyeitwa jina la Maluki. Na sasa Maluki alikuwa na bibi saba. Labda alikuwa babu yake. Eh, niliambiwa hata kama sikumuona, niliambiwa. Hakuwa anakutana na mwanamke so uko hapo lakini the things you are doing bwana sasa sasa are we ready to be rooted in Christ to be rooted in Christ is to be rooted in Christ not to say i'm rooted in Christ but your actions to show us that you are rooted in Christ bwana sasa sasa no was on gap hapo mwanamke aweza ongea mbele yako tu ni mkono tu wana so that we can root them in Christ. Ni wa mama ngapi hapa? Kuna kati pasta nne talikuwa hiyo. Mwanamke mwanamke hawezi ongea mbele yake. Na shukuru pasta nne simama kuone bwana za shanga pasta nne nani? Simama kuone. Na uwevu na mpigie makofi. Do you know what to be rooted means? Hallelujah. That's why we are celebrating seven years. Because in these seven years, a lot has happened. A lot. Mamba Mifajika is the idea 70 million, billion. Kwa hii seven years. Ayye kwa 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 na kucheke. Na na kucheke ukisikia. Na ukilalamika na kuchapa. Kwa niso spesa. Hallelujah. Kwa niso spesa. Ni wangapi mkwa na asira hapa? Ukiwa na asira unashindwa hata kuona nini bwana? Eliza nini? Hallelujah. Ni wangapi uko na hiyo asira? When you are rooted in Christ, inaondoka. 